And the quality assurance is a very important issue to ensure high yields of the PV system. You can separate uh, the lifetime of a PV system in three different phases, so the planning phase, the construction phase and the operation phase. And there has to be a quality assurance in all three phases uh, to achieve the goal of a high yield production over the lifetime of a PV system. So let's have a look. What we have is we have the three phases. So the first phase in the beginning, that's the planning phase. So uh, that's the project development and the engineering. Second phase is uh, the construction phase. So that means uh, the installation of the PV system, uh, testing on site, etc. And finally, of course, we have uh, the third phase, uh, that's the operation of the system. So after a grid connection, um, there's a question how to ensure high quality uh, during the operation phase. Um, now let's have a quick look at the three phases. What are the issues regarding these phases? And uh, then in the next videos, we want to have a closer look uh, to all three phases. The planning phase can separate it in two steps. First, there's the project development, and then we have the engineering of uh, the system. Um, so what are the tasks uh, regarding the quality assurance? So first of all, of course, there is a, a site analysis. So you have to check uh, the location, uh, what's about shading, obstacles, uh, are there any, any weather risks, for example, like flooding, etc. So what's about the site? Then, of course, you need to understand the uh, solar irradiance on site. So this is the um, irradiance analysis by using weather data, radiation information from different sources um, to predict uh, the radiation for the next 20 or even 25 years. So what the probability of, ra uh, of radiation which can be used uh, to generate electricity. Um, then of course, uh, what you need is, is a yield report. So you uh, need to know what is uh, what are the modules, what are the components, the other components which are used in the inverters, how are these components interconnected uh, to do computer simulations to predict the yield. And this yield is uh, uh, prepared in a report which is used for the bankability of, your, of the system um, that you can get a loan uh, for your project or that you can find investors for the project. Um, of course, uh, what you then also need is uh, a component benchmarking. Component benchmark. So what's about the technology? What's about the modules? Do they have all the certificates? Do they have, of course. Uh, what's about the track record of manufacturers? Uh, if you uh, think about uh, the use of new technologies, um, What's about the reliability of these components? So there's a component benchmark you should uh, do. Uh, and then finally, what you do is so you, you put all the information together in, in the due diligence. So there are three parts. We have the technical due diligence, the financial, and there's also a legal due diligence you have to do uh, for investors. Uh, so that's uh, an overall report, an investigation in all three uh, aspects, the technical, the financial, and the legal aspects of the project, what's about the contracts uh, with the EPC, um, etc. to be sure that in case of any uh, warranty issues, uh, you know what to do, who to contact, um, etc. So that are uh, the topics you have to do during the, uh, the planning phase. Next, we'll have a look at the construction phase, what is important during the, uh, the second phase uh, of uh, constructing a PV system. One issue during the construction phase is the inspection on site, so that 
the technical experts go on site, uh, have a look at what is going on, um, and uh, document uh, all the phases of the construction phase um, in order to identify problems or issues uh, which can be addressed. Of course, that's very important as you can solve problems during the construction phase rather easily. Um, after uh, the grid connection during the operation phase, it's uh, more complicated to, to uh, solve uh, severe issues. So that's uh, one important issue that you inspect the construction phase on site. Um, then, of course, what you need is a quality um, assurance of the solar module. So what you do is typically you, you do on-site checks after the installation of the first, uh, first modules. So we have the sampling, or let's call this uh, quality assurance of the PV modules, so that you take some modules and uh, investigate them in in a lab uh, regarding the quality, uh, the uh, technical parameters, if they fulfill the parameters, or if there might be any technical issues like uh, micro cracks or whatever in the cells, so that you have uh, um, bad quality modules. And you should do this regularly during the construction phase uh, to be sure that there is a, a high quality of the modules as they, uh, as the modules. Um, um, contribute to 50% of the total cost of the project, so they are an uh, important part of the uh, of the PV system. And then after uh, the finish of the construction, there will be um, the the technical acceptance test. So the technical acceptance. Means uh, that the final power plant test. Um, is the PV system or has the PV system constructed as uh, planned? Um, what's about the documentation? Uh, do every uh, do all the components work? Are there minor or major issues? And then all of these uh, issues are um, put together or summarized in an independent test report. Um, and then uh, after the, the grid connection, um, the operator can take over and um, be responsible for the PV system. And finally, we have the operation phase. So that's the uh, long-term phase running uh, 20 or even 25 years. Uh, so what has to be done during the operation phase? Of course, first of all, there is the monitoring. So that uh, system is installed to uh, collect all the operating data, uh, current the voltage frequency, any uh, technical issues, status reports of the components. Uh, someone can um, can take responsibility of the system and can, can act in case of any uh, problem or malfunction. So you need a monitoring system on site uh, to, to know what, what's going on. Um, so what you have is it's an independent performance monitoring. So Technical experts should go on site regularly, uh, do checks on site. Of course, the monitoring cannot um, identify all the issues. So, second issue is uh, regular on site visits. Of course, this um, uh, the frequency depends on the size and the capacity of the system. Um, if you have uh, utility scale systems, you should go on site regularly at least, let's say, once a month or even um, more frequently. Uh, if we are talking about small rooftop systems on a roof of a house, for example, um, then of course uh, someone should check the system at least once a year to be sure that there are no technical issues. So what you have is, um, let, let's call this also a warranty check. The warranty check, so that means that um, regarding the warranty issues, um, there are no issues, so there are no problems. And in case of any problem that, that you know what you do regarding uh, your, uh, your warranty. And then of course, in case of any problem, there must be a failure analysis. So what are the reasons uh, for uh, the malfunction, for the failure? 
Um, there should be a reporting in particular in case of uh, major malfunctions. Uh, so that's of course important uh, to ensure a high quality uh, of, of the system. So what you have is it's a, a operation management regarding all these four uh, topics um, that the system can um, produce uh, high yields during the operation time. And then finally, of course, an issue which uh, will occur uh, after the lifetime. So that's the um, an issue of uh, recycling. So in case we have to demolish the system, what you do with all the components. So you have the recycling after the lifetime of 20 or even 25 years. And uh, one issue which might be interesting is, of course, the repowering. So that means that uh, after several years, uh, there might be uh, better components uh, with a higher efficiency so the, that you exchange uh, the inverters, the modules. Um, uh, to its, uh, increase the capacity, to increase the efficiency of the system. And that, uh, of course, is also an issue um, which uh, occurs after several years of operation, let's ten, say 10 or even uh, 15 years, or, of course, in case of any technical issues that you have uh, uh, modules which show bad quality or technical issues, that you exchange them and uh, do a repowering uh, in this case. And all these uh, three phases um, and then the recycling, repowering uh, helps you to ensure the high quality of system um, and the, the goal of high yields. And what we'll do next is uh, that we have a look at the uh, three phases in detail, what you have to do in the three phases to get a high quality PV system.